Darwin Singh Nagi, born November 1881, was among the earliest Indian recipients of the Victoria Cross, the highest and most prestigious award for gallantry in the face of the enemy that could be awarded to the British and Commonwealth forces. He was just a Naki, which is the equivalent of a corporal, when he led the attack that would gain him the Victoria Cross. He had wounded or at least killed eight to nine Germans in the trench attack. During the attack, he was injured in the head and bled from the arms, but he said until the trench was captured, he would not leave it. He had then won the Victoria Cross and received it from King George himself. Nagy was approximately 33 years old and a Naki of the 1st Battalion of the 39th Gualhalla Rifles, British Indian Army during the First World War when he performed the deeds, which the quotation reads, His Majesty the King Emperor has been graciously pleased to approve the grant of the Victoria Cross to the unmentioned soldier of the Indian Army, for conspicuous bravery whilst in the service of the Indian Army Corps of the British Expeditionary Force. For great gallantry on the night of the 23rd and the 24th of November near Force Spur, France, when the regiment was engaged in retaking and claimed the enemy out of our trenches, and although wounded in two places in the head and also in the arm, being one of the first to push around each successive Travis in the face of severe fire from bombs and rifles at the closest of range. London Gazette, the 7th of December 1914. He was awarded the medal the same day as Godard Khan. But the latter VC action was at an earlier date, so this is regarded as the first Indian recipient of the Victoria Cross. He, after the war, had two guns or three guns, and he would never go out to be hunting because he did not want to kill again, especially after the war. He said to kill anything, even a bird, one should not kill anything. You can survive as long as God's hands are on you. He was illiterate when he joined the army in 1914. The Indians were very, very far behind the Europeans, he said. Indians didn't even know what a car was, especially in his province. His outlook changed especially when he came back from the war, and he wanted more education and the lives of his villagers should be better. King George himself, after knighting him, asked him what he wanted. He could have anything in the world, anything he wanted. All he wanted was a school, he said. In my area, there are no schools and the children are absolutely illiterate. So in case an educational establishment in the place like Karang Plang with the snap of his fingers, King George V had schools in Karang Pagan in one year. He could have had anything in the world, but he chose for his village to have education. And a lot of schools and a lot of educational facilities not really being named after him, but acknowledging his presence that the first schools, especially dating back to 1918, were in his honour. Nagy retired from the ranks as a subadar, equivalent to a British captain. Both his sons, Barira and Balera's son, Nitin, served in the Guahala Rifles of the Indian Army, both to achieve the ranks of Colonel. His Victoria Cross is held by his family to this day. <clears throat> the the Regimental Museum in the Guahala Rifles in Lanston, Yukadakanhan, is named the Darwin Singh Museum in his honour. And even his son to this day actually went on Wall Street Journal to talk about his great-great-grandfather, who served in World War One, and gave the village of Karang Pargyang education. And that is where we leave all the minority reports and all the people from all the countries. We've got Billy, we might do Billy Bishop, but this is pretty much the last minority, well, the last, who did, well, the last famous people of World War One. even though he's very unknown, this is pretty much the last episode for the British. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed something this video i hope you learned something especially you know since it was not really about education but a man who wanted education for his village in the far far north of india a man who did not know how to read but he still ants for schools anyway a man that had the world at his fingertips when king george danced him what do you want and he said i just want my village to have a school and with that, I leave you there. Anything in the world, but he chose his village over anything. Darwin Singh. World War One hero? Indeed. Learn something, my dudes. India's tomorrow, of course. The subcontinent. Yeah.